So my second channel has a video that basically shows you how to get the latest emojis and a lot of people like that. So I figured I might as well do the same exact thing on my main channel in case some of you are ever interested in it. So basically every single iOS version that comes out and every single iPhone that comes out for the most part may end up having emojis that you may not have. Maybe you see on Twitter that, oh, there's so many people have so many newer emojis. Why can't I get those or why don't I have those? You're searching for them and they seem to be missing no matter what you do. Well, the easiest way to go ahead and pretty much double check that you have access to these emojis is to make sure you have an iPhone that's supported on the latest version of software. So in my opinion, this is probably one of the best reasons to own a newer iPhone. So typically what happens is Apple releases iOS versions. I think if you watch this channel, you already know how it goes. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna open up your settings application. You'll come into a panel that looks probably like this. You wanna scroll down until you see this general option down here. Now when you see this, all you wanna do is click there and you'll see this little software update panel. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on software update and this will pretty much bring you to your software update screen. Now what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and show you any newer versions of software you have. Now if you're on a very, very outdated phone, such as like an iPhone 4 or iPhone 5, those phones probably aren't going to be getting the latest you know, emojis. So just kind of keep that in mind. But if you have a phone like the iPhone you know, 6S onwards as of right now, you should have access to these specific emojis. So updating your phone is pretty much the first thing I'd recommend doing. Now let's say you update your phone and you still don't have them. Now this is a very complicated thing, mostly because it's very rare that this happens, but you may be using another keyboard that you don't even know about. So if you use Gboard or SwiftKey or anything else, you want to switch back and revert back to the original keyboard, and you should have the emojis there. But if you don't even know whether you're using the stock keyboard or not, well, this little globe icon on the bottom left, what you want to do is you want to hold down that globe icon, and you can see a ton of different keyboards come up for me. I have the English keyboard, emoji keyboard, which is the one you want, but I also have Gboard. If I click here, this is a completely different keyboard. So if I update my phone, it's not necessarily going to update these specific emojis. So you want to hold down this globe icon, you want to find the emoji keyboard, and then you want to go and check the emojis there. Now most people will skip over them, so just go ahead and click the search button up there, and you can search for that emoji. So if I go and look for like happy, for example, I can search happy like this, and I'll be able to find emojis that look happy or whatever. You can go and type them in just like that. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you have any other questions or thoughts, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.